kumusta? It's been how many months since I last vlogged? You know, I've been telling myself that this 2022, I should vlog more often. Kasi, you know, I also miss vlogging and I miss conversing with you guys. I also miss talking to you guys, you YouTube fam ko. So, kumusta? I just woke up around... I think 30, 40 minutes ago. Alam ko. It's just 9.30 a.m. now. Pero medyo ayos na tayo. Because I have a brand meeting at 10 a.m. But before we do our work, coffee first. So guys, while waiting for my meeting, on thing life update time. So recently, we just got a dog. Her name is Sandy. Actually, we adopted her. We weren't really planning on getting a new dog because nga, of Shine, who passed away more than a year ago. Na. But then this little cute angel came along and we adopted her. I'm just so happy to have another dog. You know, parang it reminded me the first reason why we got Shine before. Parang it's the same feeling na dogs are so loyal, dogs are so loving. So may say na I'm OA, pero yung mga dog owners dyan can really understand me for sure. Also, another life update. Well, life update for everybody. Currently, nagsisurge ngayon ang cases and it's been, it's been so crazy. Like, Kahapon, 39,000. Parang grabe yung surge after the holidays. It's so scary to go out and it's so hard as well to work. But nasa point na ako in my life that I should just really live my life and be extra, extra, extra careful. Because, voila, we just have to really learn how to adapt and to live with it. I mean, it's so bad. I just wish this pandemic would end. It's affecting so much already in our lives but continue to have hope guys and to live your lives dapat hindi didiktahin ng pandemic ang buhay natin try natin to also for those of you who are wondering kung bakit we weren't able to upload our podcast episodes anymore we really got busy the past few months we had our lock in tapos kung ano ano pa nag holiday pa so it was a bit crazy for Kalil and I to shoot another podcast, but rest assured, we are really trying our best to shoot again to be able to upload. So we'll just see. I, I, I've been seeing a lot of tweets, a lot of comments asking kung ano na nangyari sa figure it out, but yeah, we're working on it. Hopefully, we can upload soon. Okay, mag work muna si Ate Girl. Um, Five minutes na lang, it's already 10 a.m. So, we gotta work! Sandy. Sandy! Hi! Yeah, you're so big cut! Hi, Sandy Bond! She usually looks super clean, but for some reason, sobrang haba na ng buhok niya. And mukha na siyang gusgusing bata. Say hi to the audience! Hi, audience! Hi, YouTube! Hey, hey! You love your dentist sticks. Okay, so let's tell your story na to them. What's your story? So Sandy Potpot, -Pot, or my Sandy Girl, was adopted last week. Whoops! Yung story niyan, yung family friend kasi namin. Um, hi, Tita Joni. My brother siya who owns a toy poodle. Her name is Carly. She's super cute. And they were set to migrate to Canada already. I think this month or next month. Basta very, very soon. Pero itong toy poodle nila, si Carly, got pregnant by the kapitbahay Maltese. So Sandy Puet, my Sandy girl, is a Maltipoo. So anong nangyari? 
di nagkaroon ng babies. I think ng kanak ng four to five um, puppies. So, they're looking for owners for the four multipoos. I think the other one, her brother, na dalhin sa States, I mean, sa Canada. Yung isa naman, binigay dun sa owner nung dad, which is the Maltese. And then, the other one, meron ng mag-a-adopt na parent. And then, si Sandy, siya na lang yung naiwan. You know, as I said earlier, we really weren't looking for a dog when they told us. But they knew kasi na we were very much responsible pet owners nung kay Shine before. That's why siguro naisip nila na alokin siya sa amin. How can you resist a loving dog that's available to stay loyal for the rest of your lives? So we went to Sandy, we checked her out, and wala, we fell in love with her and hindi na talaga namin siya matiis. And my dad was the one who pushed talaga to get her. I'm gonna show you a clip na first time niyang pumunta dito sa house. She was so scared. I mean, it's so normal naman to be scared, di ba, at first. Yun siya. Parang feeling ko, na feeling niya, pinabayaan siya nung ano, niya, original parents niya. But, come, she's living her best life now. And I'm so happy that she's the newest member of the family. No, Sandy. Sandy girl will interview you. <laughs> She's so lambing. Are you having fun here in her house? Do you like it? Yes. I love you. I love you. I love you. She's big for her. For her age, she's just... I think she's just six months. And sobrang bigat niya. So we're trying to control her diet kasi baka siya rin yung mahirapan. Just a tip to everybody out there. You have to be a responsible pet owner, you know, before adopting or buying or getting a pet, a dog, a cat, or anything, remember that it is a life commitment. It's not just a one-time, ay, ang cute! I want her! I want ang cute-cute niya kasi kukunin ko siya. It's not all about like that. It's a life commitment. You have to stay committed to your pet for 15, 14 years. It's no joke, but it's such a joy to have a pet. So, be responsible, okay? My mama over here is cooking sinigang. Mm -hmm. My favorite. Oh, these veggies are all from Co-op. Thanks, Co-op. We currently don't have any house staff. So, ang house staff namin siya. <laughs> and my dad's over there in his man cave. Daddy, say hi. He's the... To the vlog. All around the all-around guy. Plumber, mechanic. There he is. Hindi na siya magkasya sa sarili niyang space. Sobrang dami niyang abubot. We have the same hair. <laughs> but nga isa dyan. <laughs> the call is here because we have a, a 2 p.m. meeting with our Editor Bianca, who's editing this right now. Because um, we have an alignment meeting for this year, for 2022. Because I am planning to do like a semi-daily vlog. So you should daily. Weekly, sha. Semi. <laughs> semi <-carbo. laughs> You figured out adulthood. Mm. Adulting, pala. I'm still adulting. Still adulting, but in a bigger scale. It's it's because you you want to be a businesswoman. Uh -oh. you wanna... So yun yun yung angle bounce ng edit. Yes. <laughs> Taksa tao. 
because really just because of for the love of food. Okay, so we're now here in my walk-in closet because naka schedule ako today para magligpet ng shoes ko. Kasi hindi pa ako nakakapagligpet from my previous work. Why not do also a little closet update? Ang tagal na rin since you guys last watched my walk-in closet tour. So, today we shall do an update. So this is my work maleta. This is, I got this for my birthday this year. So, sobrang ingat ko sa maleta na to. I don't know why I chose all white. It's just, it's so pretty. Look at that handle. It's so pretty, diba? So, you have to be extra, extra careful. My last, since before the surge, ha, before COVID happened, my last work was the New Year, the Kapuso New Year countdown. So, ito pa yun. <laughs> Don't judge me, guys. Alam mo yung feeling na nag-holiday kasi and then na-relax ka. So, medyo tinamad talaga ako. Like, I'm gonna admit, there are days where you just want to sit down and do nothing. And I've been experiencing those days for the past month. So, mainly, yung laman ng maleta ko for work. For shoes, for heels lang talaga. Because, you know, I wanna take care of my heels. They're like my baby. And these shoe bags, I got it from Shopee. It's very, very efficient because you don't have to, to open everything and check kung ano yung shoes na nasa loob because it's transparent. And this one also has a house. These are Gen Vita Rossi's. And I am super in love because it's so sexy. Look at that. Right? So cute. Girl, and dito tayo para magligpet, hindi para magsukat. Medyo madalad na ito. I have a love-hate relationship with my boobs. They are called Sokate. Kasi masokate siya sa pa. <laughs> I cannot explain how painful these heels are. But, you know, they're also so elegant and so sexy to look at whenever you wear them. Look at that. So nice, no? And not to mention the red sole. These are my Saint Laurent heels. I never thought that I can actually own this certain kind of style. Because lately, parang mas gusto ko yung basics lang. Ayoko na masadong trendy and masadong madami na ngayare. But when I tried this on, it was so beautiful. I did not expect it. And the height is just okay. It's not so high. It's also not low. Ang dalas ko siyang gamitin, I swear. Baka nga alam niyo na tong pair na to eh. Madalas mong gamitin? Yeah, this one. Smell it na? If it's madalas gamitin. I clean my shoes! It's okay. <laughs> May kasa days. Ito din gamit na gamit ko. You always have to have that red pump. Ito. Um, this is... It's red or pink? This is red, babe. It's red. It's red. It's not pink. This is pink. I got this in podium, um, in assembly, and they were on sale. Kwento na time, I'm a size eight. Sa lahat flats, heels, anything. Sa boots nine ako, pero everything else size eight ako. But then it was on sale. These were on sale. At yung natitirang size na lang, I size seven. So I was like, oh my god, should I get it? Because I need red pumps and at the same time, it's Cassidy and it's so cheap. So I was like, Miss, can I expand it? Because it's leather. Naman. Yes, Mom, can I expand it? It's leather. Of course, that's what she said. Of course, that's what she said. So I, of course, it's hard to get it. Because it's pointed. 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 So it's not really my size. But I've been trying it on around the store. I've been walking, walking. I said, no, I'm going to go. So, I bought it. Cut to. This is it. I bought it. I bought it on my heels in one of our shows. It was so sick. I said, like, it was so hard to walk because of these heels. And it's so painful. So, you know what, you know what I did? I bought it. 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 And true enough, it expanded. I bought it. 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 So, I just got it from sale. So, ending, now it fits me perfectly. See? It's 
Perfect! It's not masikip anymore. I mean, it's a bad tip, but it works. This one is my Kurt Geiger in hot pink. I love these. These are so comfy. This is a gift from Louis Vuitton. These are their newest LV Art Light. So sling back siya. You know those Art Light, the, the closed shoes one, parang sneakers. So this is their version of a sling back. It's so nice. I use this for New Year. Yeah, so I was wearing this when I welcome 2022. This one I also got for my birthday. I swear, and dami kong binili for my birthday kasi budol yung Green Belt 3. I wanted these because kapag nako formal dinner um outside or like kunyari de gusto siya ng guys gusto ko mag heels pero not intimidating heels yung hindi pang show na heels na plain black lang. Lagi ako nang struggle what to wear. So I got these. These are the Dior slingback. So I think it's It's really, really nice. It's simple. It's classy, and you can pair it with anything. You can pair it with a dress. You can also pair it with jeans. So it's just so easy to wear, and it's so versatile. That's why I like this pair, and it's so cute. I wore this for Christmas, naman. Bakit ako nagtour? Sabi ko magliligpit ako, but okay. I also have my bags, pero, but these are my three current favorite bags right now. Actually, this one is super gamit na gamit because this is like a go-to bag and it's called On The Go LV and it's literally on the go because everything that you need fits this cute bag and it's just so versatile too. And this one also, I love this bag. Um, it has so many pockets. This is also for um ano naman to pwede to pang day or pang night depending on your mood but this is so cute too. This I consider my working bag. This is the newest LV. I'm not sure how it's pronounced but it's Neo No. N E O N O E. So I'm not sure how it's pronounced but this is this I consider as I consider as a working bag because it's like a bu bucket bag. You can put anything inside. That you should shoot mo lang dyan and buhay ka na. And it also has a strap. I recommend this bag for work purposes, for travel purposes. It's also fashionable. So cute, right? If you guys are wondering what model this is, it's actually an LV toiletry pouch. Oh, oh, as in, ano lang siya, toiletry pouch, but since it's too cute to be a toiletry pouch, what I did, I converted it into a bag. Tula siyang parang holes to attach a chain. So what I did, this is a hack, guys. What I did, I bought this from Shopee. Um, so meron siyang parang organizer sa loob. Ito. It's literally, it's, I think this is a 26, size 26 toiletry pouch. Meron talagang designated para organizing kit inside. Naka designate talaga siya for the 26 toiletry pouch of LV because people actually do it talaga. They convert these pouches into bags, into handbags. Tapos sa loob yung organizing kit inside, meron na siyang naka-attach. Can you see it? Meron na siyang naka-attach na hole wherein you can just grab any chain and yun, yeah, attach niya right? sa handbag. So, perfect siya kapag kunyari night out or kahit hindi night out, actually kahit. Um, you just want a simple LV bag. It's really nice. Another life update, guys. Actually, I feel like it's a milestone in my life. I got my first watch. My first Rolex. And I am overjoyed. Like, ever since kasi when I was a kid, my mom used to tell me na, oh, watches are great investments. But, Ako kasi, I'm not a watch girl. But then, Kali came along and he was so obsessed with watches. So, my mom and Kali also influenced me to get the watch. So, for how many months I've been looking for the perfect 
Rolex for me. We tried going to all of the Rolex branches here in the Philippines, in Manila. Lahat, guys, ubos. Like, yung mga watch enthusiasts, alam yan, na you'd have to line up and wait for them to contact you if you want a certain model. And it's no joke, guys. Ang daming kumukuha ng watch na yun. Kaya, ang taga. Like, I've been waitlisted for how many months? Three months, I guess, or four. And still no news. Wala talaga. And you just have to wait. So, I took a chance on private sellers. And I found this particular piece. And it's so perfect for a first watch. Ito siya. Charong! It's, com it's a complete set with paper bag and everything with the box. So, guys, if you're looking for a watch, best pa rin talaga if it's complete set. Kasi nung una, medyo ang mahal kasi if it's a complete set. So, I was telling Kali na kailangan mo talaga complete set because ang laki ng binaba if you're just gonna get the, just the watch alone. And then Kali said, if you want to sell it in the future or it's if you're looking for a good investment, it's supposed to be a complete set. Because, diba, yun nga yung, binab yun nga yung binibili mo dun, yung authenticity ng Rolex. I've been thinking kanina pa if I should share this to my vlog or not. But you know, it inspired me so much. <laughs> Because it inspired me so much. As in, I remember the feeling. It was an extraordinary feeling of walking to the store, getting the watch, and walking out of the store with your paper bag. And parang, in a, pa ulit ulit ko sinasabi kay Cal, and to my parents, na parang grabe, hindi ako makapaniwan lang nakakuha ako ng watch. Parang up to now, kasi I'm still overwhelmed by everything. So I'm sharing this with you guys, para kung sino man nanood na to, Paka this can serve also as an inspiration to you guys. Because Kali told me that every time I look at this watch, it's a symbol of my hard work. This is a date just watch with a diamond dial. Silver face. Originally, I wanted an MOP, a mother of pearl face. Pero sobrang hirap maghanap. And ang tagal din mag-order sa, sa store mismo. So, I'm also happy with this na. It's Jubilee, the strap. And it's 26 mm, so it's small. It's just right for my wrist. So, ito yung itsura niya. When I wear it. Something like that. It's so pretty, no? Grab it. Never in my life na naisip ko that I could, that I would be able to purchase one. Like, it never crossed my mind. So, it's really a symbol of hard work and inspiration. Yung tipo kapag ayaw mo na, di ba? Tapos pag nakita mo yung watch, parang, okay, work tayo. Ganon. Ganon yung feeling niya. So, ano siya talaga? It means a lot to me. Ako dito sa watch na to, I also have another watch which was given to me by my mom just the other day when she came back from her flight and I showed her this Rolex. This one naman is a gift from my mom. Just the other day. Crazy, right? So, tinago niya pala to for me. Actually, she has two. She has two of these exact model. It's a Tag Heuer. Tag Heuer. I searched how to pronounce that. It's not it's not the perfect pronunciation, but it sounds something like that. So let's just call it a Tag. She has two of these models from Tag. Kasi tig isa daw kami ng sister ko. So, this is my everyday watch. Hindi ko pa siya napapa resize. Kasi nga, it's new. I just got it a month ago. And trivia, this is actually a watch from the company she's working for, which is Philippine Airlines, for her 25th anniversary with them. So this actually is a very sentimental watch for my mom, but still she gave it to me and my sister also. So mom, if you're watching, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So ito yung itsura niya. It's a Tag Heuer Aqua Racer. But I am gonna take this to the store and have it resized. But it's something like this. So it's also cute. Plus, it's a gift for my mom. That's why it means a lot. It's extra, extra sentimental too. You know what? I just realized that watches really know. It can tell you a story. I mean, imagine. I recently watched the vlog of 
our mega star, Miss Sharon Coneta. I watched her Kamenikali. We watched her watch collection vlog, the part one and the part two. And wow, crazy collection. It is so nice. And what's more special about it is hindi lang siya lahat wants. Yung iba dun talagang it can tell you a story. Like, most watches are from her mom, or she gave this watch to her dad when her dad passed away, nabigay ulit sa kanya, yung mga ganun. So, watches talaga, they're, besides the value of it, it also tells a really, really great story. But I am very, very proud of these two watches. Yeah, and I just wanna share with you guys uh, my 2022 goals. Um, my goal this year is to invest and invest and invest. Parang, I am done with spending money for, you know, trendy items or items that I will not benefit from. This year is all about investing. So, it's a much more mature and a much more empowered Gabby for 2022. And of course, I will bring you guys with me through this journey. Samahan niyo ko as I learn the paikot-ikot of the business side. So yeah, that's it for my vlog today. I can't wait for the next one and I will update you on my life again on my next vlog. See you!